Hello and welcome to lesson number 30 here in our Rhino 6 basic tutorials. Today we're going to go ahead and learn how to sweep one rail. Like I said, a uh, lot of things you need to concern yourself with uh, under the sweep one and the sweep two rail commands. A lot of things that can go wrong. All I'm going to do in this particular lesson is show you the command, show you how to use it. In some of the later lessons we will go over um, some troubleshooting as well as um, just some good rules of thumb. But for right now I'm just trying to get you up and running so we're going to learn the sweep one rail command. So I'm going to double click into the perspective window and as you can see we have a few objects here that we have created. All right. Now what the sweep one rail will do is it will take one curve or one object and it will allow it to follow the profile or it will follow the path of another curve. Right. If you are into SketchUp, this would be the follow me command. All right. Now, it depends. You can actually, in a case like this, you can sweep an open and a closed curve. It just depends on which one you do. Okay, here we've got something sweeping a closed curve. And here we have a couple of different objects all sweeping the same curve. All right, we're going to go over all of those right now. All right, now the sweep one rail can be found under surface sweep one rail. It can also be found here under the surface menu right down here on this little corner. Uh, so left hand corner, lower left sweep one rail. Its cousin sweep two rail, which we will cover next, can be found right here. All right, so make sure you get it right. All right, and of course, as per usual, you can also just type in sweep one and that will give you the sweep one rail command. So I will go ahead and select that. And now it's very important that you select the rail first. The rail is the uh, path that something is going to follow. OK, so I'm going to say in this case, I want this curve to follow this rail here. All right. And then now it says select the cross section curves here and I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I'm just going to accept everything right now. Do it very, very quickly. Now you see what happened is you notice because of where this was oriented, this particular curve, it followed not really the path that we expected. All right, so watch this. I'm going to go ahead and select this object, move it over here a little bit. I'm also going to select this object. And with my gumball, I'm going to drag it over to the center here. All right, and I'm going to run that command again sweep one rail. This time I will find it for you in this menu. Here's the sweep one rail command. And now it says select the rail, select the cross section curve, and now hit enter when done. OK. And you'll notice that we get two very, very different shapes here. Right. And that had to do with the orientation of that particular curve, this particular curve on your rail. All right. Now, watch what happens if we reverse the order, and sometimes it's possible. In this case, I'll go back to sweep one. This time, I'm going to say I want this to be the rail, and now I want this to be the cross-section curve. All right, I'll hit enter and enter again, and there you go. Nice, hot mess. Probably not what we wanted. I'm going to move that over here. What happens if this, whoops, I'm just going to type in move here so the whole thing moves at once. What happens if we change it up a little bit? Sweep one rail. This is my rail. This is my cross section curve. Enter, enter. Still a hot mess. Okay. And then our third option what happens if we move this over here? Here to here. Enter. And if we type in sweep one, here's my rail, here's my curve. Enter, enter. Another hot mess, but it's a different type of hot mess. Okay? So, again, <laughs> generally that's not the way to do it, and I wanted to show you that. Okay. Next step. Sweep one rail. Now, a lot of times, if I wanted to make this into a curve, I could say pipe, right? But in this case, I can do a sweep one rail on a uh, two closed curves. So the command is sweep one. 
you'll notice that here I've got two different options here one and one of them this curve is connected to the oval and in this case this particular curve or this particular um, shape here is actually centered on this curve so watch what happens here so I'm gonna go s uh, sweep one rail here's my rail it says select the cross-section curves I'm gonna select my cross-section curve and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and enter again and there we go I've got something in this particular shape right pretty cool now if I type in or in this case just hit my spacebar again to repeat that command it'll say select the rail here right and then cross-section curve here enter enter you'll notice I get two similar but different size shapes depending upon where this was oriented okay so we'll try that again I'm gonna go ahead and select this and hide it I'm gonna move on to another layer just so you can see the difference type in sweep one here is my cross-section curve here's this curve enter enter okay if I type in show you'll notice that depending upon where that cross-section curve was in relation to the rail you get a very different shape okay now the last thing I'm going to show you is this kind of cool way to combine different cross-section curves okay so I'm gonna go up here sweep one rail here's my rail and select the cross-section curves here's the first one here's the second one here's the third one go ahead and hit enter to accept or enter when done is what the command line says I can hit enter and enter again and I'll go ahead and just select my defaults and there we go you get a very interesting shape that blends your pentagon into your star into an oval okay I'm gonna go ahead and stop the lesson right there I showed you a few ways that it would work a few ways it won't work alright in the next lesson we're gonna jump into sweep two rails thanks very much